Hi, this is Tony Plahetsky with the Austin American Statesman. I'm among a group of Statesman reporters who have been uh, in Huntsville all day uh, covering the, the execution of David Lee Powell, who uh, was sentenced to die for fatally shooting uh, Austin police officer Ralph Ablanado in 1978. Uh, earlier today, the police, uh, about 100 and, or maybe 150 Austin police officers and retirees gathered here at a hotel for a luncheon. Uh, they say they wanted to celebrate the life of Officer Ablanado. It was very hard to lose one of our own. Ralph was like the third in a line of three we had lost over a period of time. He's also one of the last officers that we've had actually shot and killed by a citizen of the city of Austin. Well, you know, when uh, young men and women take the oath of office to be police officers, uh, police chiefs throughout this country make a promise, and it's a solemn promise to the families of those new officers, and that is that if they lay down their lives uh, in, in the path of their duties, that we will never forget, that we will always be there, always be there for the families, and uh, that's why we're here, not to celebrate a death or to gloat over a death, but to celebrate a life and to show support to the Alvinado family. On June 30th and July 1st, two days in a row, two more people will be put to death. And for what? We are here because we say no to the killing, no to the death penalty, no to capital punishment, no to revenge, and no to violence by the state of Texas. Um, around uh, 545, we received word that the Supreme Court had denied uh, Powell's final appeal. And at that point, uh, we were led into the execution chamber. Uh, once inside, uh, Powell did not uh, make a final statement. He did not answer the warden's question about whether or not he wanted to speak. Um, the lethal doses began around 6.10, and he was pronounced dead by a doctor at 6.19 p.m. tonight. The family of Ralph Alblanado has requested the statement be read to the media on their behalf. On May 18, 1978, Ralph's life ended through a senseless act of violence. That day began that day began a long and a seemingly endless journey in pursuit of justice as deemed appropriate by court of law. The journey has been marked with feelings of shock turned to anger, anger to sorrow, and ultimately an uncomfortable acceptance of such a devastating loss. While we do not take lightly today's events, there is a sense of relief that that journey has ended. The passage of time has allowed for healing, however no amount of time will erase the sadness felt by Ralph's friends and family for the loss of such a promising young man. It is for this reason that we gather today to honor Ralph and remember him as a dedicated husband and father, a loyal son and brother, a friend to many, and a heroic officer. Thank you. After the families filed out, we did have a chance to talk to Bruce Mills, who was Officer Oblinato's friend and partner. He later married his widow, and he gave us some thoughts on, uh, on how he feels now that this has come to an end. I don't know if you can look at somebody and, and tell they are remorseful, uh, but if, if you could, he certainly was not uh, displaying that at all. Um, you know, I was... I was actually paying more attention to his mom and his sister and to the rest of the family that, you know, has waited, uh, you know, 31 and a half years since the, last, since the first trial uh, for this to finally come to an end. And I was expecting to feel a sense of relief when it was over, and that's what I felt. 